G'day guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna look at profit and loss and there are actually quite a few words that we need to learn just to make sure we're communicating these ideas effectively. Obviously this is a branch of maths that pops up for the rest of your life. So being able to talk about it well is actually really, really important. Okay, so the first word we need to know is this one called cost price, okay? And this is how much an item costs or the, the amount of money that goes into providing this service or making this thing. And it's not just the amount of what you buy, okay? Materials is definitely one part of it. So materials is one part of it, but there are a host of other things that matter as well. Things like labor, right? The amount of people you need to employ in order to sell this thing. Something like rent, if you've got a business storefront, you're gonna have to rent that space out, okay? Even things as mundane as like electricity, you've got to think about because they go into the cost price. If you need certain equipment, right, this will be important as well. And then any maintenance to any old machines or anything like that. So these things are really important to start thinking about because we're going to see all of these um, ideas pop back up when we talk about tax deductions. Okay, the selling price is a little bit easier. It's just what you sell your service or your good for. I do just want you to ignore the GST though. Okay, the GST is the tax that goes to the government. So we don't get that. Okay, we're only interested in how much money we make. So we're gonna ignore that money that goes straight to the government. All right, so if the selling price, if we sell something for more than it costs us to make, we make a profit. Okay, this is where you want to be, in the green, okay? Money's coming in. But if the cost price, if it costs you more to make than you sell it for, this is what we call a loss, okay? And this is when you might hear that you're in the red, okay? So it's not a good one, okay? So finding the total profit and loss is actually incredibly easy, all right? So you just take the selling price and minus the cost price from it and you'll find how much money you've made or lost. So in this example, an $18 item, it cost us $18 to make, right? Sold for 22 bucks. So 22 minus 18 is equal to a $4 profit. Okay, and that's all we have to do for that. This also works for loss, okay? So an object that cost $220 to make, sold for 190 bucks. What happened? So we take the selling price first, so 190 minus 220 is equal to negative 30. So we can say that that is a $30 loss. Okay, so the formula that I would like you to write down is that it is selling price minus cost price, right? And even if you get a negative number, you're gonna find that answer to be correct. The other skill that's really important is to talk about profit and loss as a percentage, okay? And this is because it's relative to what you spent, all right? If Jeff Bezos makes 100 bucks, that is an insignificant percentage to his overall worth. But if you spent five bucks on something and sold it for a hundred bucks, that's a massive percentage increase. So the amount you spent to start off kind of anchors the percentage that you earn. So the formula here is the selling price minus the cost price. So this is the change in price that happens divided by how much you spent up front or the cost price up front. The reason that I use the word anchor up here is because it anchors your formula. It goes on the bottom of your formula. And then you've got to times this by 100, again, to find the percentage, okay? If you just put that first part in, you'll get a decimal place, which is not what we want, okay? We'll see this in a couple examples. So for this one, we've got $18.50 was our selling price, and it cost us $15 to make. So $18.50 minus 15 divided by 15, times 100, so we know we've made a profit, and in your calculator, that's 23.33%, okay? So that is our percentage profit. For this next one, it cost us more than we sold it for, so we know we're gonna make a loss. So the selling price is $22.50, minus 27, on top of uh, 27, 
times by 100. This is going to give us a negative number because our uh, numerator is negative. That's fine, it just tells us that it is a loss. And once we type that into our calculator, it'll be negative 16.67%. And we'll write that as a loss of 16.67%. I think that's pretty straightforward. If you are finding that percentage trick a little bit difficult, I do have a video on that as well that's linked in the description. But thanks very much guys, and I'll see you later. I hope you guys found that helpful. Just a reminder that there are some free worksheets attached in the description below relating to this very topic. I also put up a PDF of the notes so you don't have to copy them from the video. If you do need any additional help, please don't be scared to send me an email. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for some more quick math.